What's up, Wayne Baron here with darkspikes.net, and as you can tell, we are inside of Google Chrome, our Google Chrome folder inside of our C drive. Now, whenever you install Google Chrome, you're not given the option on where you want to install it at. And let's say that you've got a small SSD drive for your uh, C drive, which I do not, but you do, or you just have a small C drive altogether, but yet you have a larger D drive or other drive that you want to install Chrome onto. But what you can do is download this tool right here. It's Junction version 1.06. I'll have the link down in the description. Just click right here, download Junction. And once you have downloaded Junction, you extract the files, which are going to be right here. You just extract the files, grab a hold of this file right here, and just simply right click on it. Choose copy, come over to C drive, go into Windows, scroll down, go into System32, and simply Control V to paste it inside of your C drive, C drive System32 folder. Now, once you have done that, open up a notepad and you want to basically have this right here. Okay, this is where we have it originally installed, and this is where we want it to be installed at. What you have to do is that you have to come inside of C drive and you will have the Chrome folder like this. Simply rename it because it's going to have Chrome. Let's pretend like this does not exist. You're going to have the Chrome folder right there. It's going to be named Chrome. Just simply add an S to the end of it. Okay, once you do that, remember this does not exist. Then you simply copy this. Remember, this is the original location. This is your destination location. Right click on it, choose copy. Simply open up a command prompt, CMD, hit enter. Right click and choose paste. It's going to paste it in like so. Now, whenever I run this, it should give me an error because it already exists. Okay, and uh, cannot create a file when that file already exists. But if this file was not there, then it would create it. Okay, and I have a lot of accounts under my Chrome. So let's go ahead and bring Chrome over here. As you can see, we right click on it and I've got all these different accounts. I do not want to have to recreate these accounts every single time that I have to reinstall my system, which I reinstall my system at least three to four times a year, depending on how messed up it gets during my programming. But that is how you relocate your Chrome to another folder. So now everything is sitting over here in D drive. I never have to change anything. So whenever I reinstall the system, the only thing I have to do is reinstall Chrome and then run this script right here after uh, putting the junction.exe file inside of the system32 folder and I'm good to go. All right, Wayne Barron here with darkeffects.net with a Google Chrome relocation script. Y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.